This is the Transformers Masterpiece Movie Series MPM5 Barricade by Hasbro and Takar Tomy. There you go. Uh, this figure, for some parts of the world, or most parts of the world, is a Toys R Us exclusive. Fortunately for us here in Asia and here in the Philippines, none of our Toys R Us stores are closing. So if you live in the U.S. and you're trying to hunt this down at Toys R Us, make sure that you better ask your Toys R Us store uh, if they'll be getting stocks. Because if that store is closing, I don't think... Um, They'll be getting new stocks. And I heard at least 189 stores in the U.S. would be shutting down or folding up or something like that. So best of luck for you guys hunting this figure down. And here you go. Uh, some box art. Official Ford licensed product. It's the Ford Saline uh, in, in alt mode. And it is looking terrific. Okay. So let's see if we can open them up. I just ruined the packaging. Alright, carefully. Let's see what we got. Opening it up together. I'm hoping it's there's not too many twist ties. Okay. Okay, okay. So from the get-go, um well you got a nice little instruction manual, very clear. Very clear wrong with it okay okay that's that and it's neatly packaged in alt mode and he's got his weapon and i'm supposing the weapon will <laughs> does not fit in alt mode anywhere in alt mode and it, it, it's meant for the uh, robot mode accessory and that's that that spinning his wheel trans one of his wheels transforms into that spinning buzzsaw or whatever that he threatened sam with wiki with uh in transformers the movie one uh, some, some clear plastic right here, soft PVC material, and some twist ties. Okay, let's get him out of his package. And here is Barricade, outside of packaging and in robot mode. And boy, it is such a wonderful representation of at least how he looked like in, uh, in movie one, in Transformers the movie. I love it. I, I love that they all went back to that first version. And I thought that was pretty great. Uh, compared to, let's say, Dark of the Moon and all these, maybe another iteration. But it looked the same. Uh, for a while, I had thought that the Human Alliance barricade was the uh, quintessential or uh, best version of, uh, or, or definitive uh barricade for a time and uh, but with this one this is now the definitive barricade at least for me i'm and I'm, i've already sold my um i've already sold my uh, uh human alliance barricade to a buddy so nah, no way of comparing it now but this one just looks amazing and the proportions are better at least that that's one thing i did notice um there's there's not as much kibble. I mean, he, he had a lot of kibble. Um, he had a lot of kibble uh, in, the, in the movie. That's what, that was how Michael Bay designed him, or at least his team of designers did it. And you can appreciate how much compression they, they've done with this figure. There are still bits, pieces here and there, but definitely much better than previous Barricade incarnations. Uh, let's talk about some more of the details of the figure. Uh, paint apps for the figure, very, very subtle. He's got some metallic paint apps here and there, silver and metallic blue. Um, let me give you a closer look at that. As you can see, uh, it, it's well detailed. Yeah, as you've seen him in, um, just when I unboxed him, there, there's going to be a lot of really, really nice detail about him. Okay, so you get all that metallic blue and metallic silver. The head sculpt, wow, look at that. Yeah, a little bit of shoddy paint apps from the, for the eyes. I wish they would have done some light piping, but they didn't. The right eye seems to be okay, but the left eye, there's just a lot of overlap, which is, this one's a little bit disappointing. Uh, it is a masterpiece figure after all, but nothing to be worried about. It not a deal breaker. It still looks great. Look at that. His mouth can open. Are you ladies back? Okay, now he's got to do that. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so that's detail and paint apps. You got a lot of molded in detail as well. 
here and there. They really paid attention to a lot of details for this guy. And then like they tried to make it as accurate as possible to how he was incarnated in that movie, in the first movie. Very, very nice. And just like the masterpiece Bumblebee, um, he's got some die cast parts as well. The center part of the torso, this shiny black piece that is die cast. These shiny um, parts of the feet, they are die cast pieces. So that allow you some stability when transforming the midsection and it'll allow you some stability when you're standing him up, um, given the fact that they've got, he's got die cast feet and the weight is proportionate. He's got top heavy and the, the feet have been weighed down. So that, that's pretty cool. Articulation for the figure, ball jointed neck and articulating uh, jaw, which you've already seen. He's got a waist swivel, but is severely hindered because of the hips. If you want to really uh, swivel the waist in a, in a more dynamic pose, you'll have to do this to the legs, like sort of narrow the hips, close these spikes and then you'll have a, a wider range of motion for the hips, but uh, he'll, he'll look funny. Actually, he won't look too funny. Yeah, he's okay. Okay, uh, ratcheting shoulders, you go in, ratchet in and out and forward and backward. He's got swivel elbows, uh, no wrist articulation, but he's got some finger articulation for the thumb as well as these three fingers. Uh, rat, he's got some hip articulation, as we've seen, ratcheting hips that go in and out and swivel forward and backward. He's got thigh swivel, ratcheting hinge knee, go only up to there. And uh, these are ball, well, hinge ankles, and it's got that rocker pivot, so that, that's pretty cool. So all in all, what a great, great, highly detailed and... and um, great representation uh, of, of this uh, villain we've all come to love, love to hate. Uh, personally, one of my favorite villains in, in the movie. All right, let's attach the weapon. Now, transforming from car to robot mode is 40 steps, and to attach the weapon, to we attach the uh, spinning weapon is 14 steps, <laughs> which is basically transforming the arm back to car mode and attaching this particular weapon. So it comes with a stand, a clear stand, so you can display the weapon in robot mode. There's no way to attach this one to store it anywhere in robot mode or in alt mode. So they've, they've Takara Tomi and Hasbro kindly given us this clear base. Very easy, you just plug it out. You plug one of the spikes in there and then plug the, the hinge attachment onto that and that's it okay so transform the supposed arm back to um, car mode okay. and you already get a glimpse of how to transform the arm with this uh, process okay all right and just reattach that like that. All right, now you'll have space to attach uh, the spinning blade with weapon, which is essentially, it, it's, a, it's not accurate because it's this wheel that he flips out and then spikes just grow out of it. So, but it's a toy, so <laughs> you can't really do that. It's gonna be very difficult. Uh, and he has this, that's, that's as good as it gets, folks. Very, very nice. It spins nicely. It doesn't spin like a spinner for long. It'll stop at a certain point, but very, very cool. All right, and here is a size comparison of Masterpiece Barricade uh, with Masterpiece Bumblebee, movie Masterpiece Bumblebee. And here is the the first release of Transformers the Movie Deluxe Class Barricade. And, and here is where the proportions are much better when I was, I was talking about. And the chest is a better, more accurate representation of the movie Barricade than this one. I love this figure despite all its flaws and all that. But as you can see, much, much improved. Obviously, it's a masterpiece class. It's a deluxe class. But... I, I really appreciate what Takara Tomi and Hasbro have been trying to do with this masterpiece uh, movie line. Uh, they're really trying to give the fans definitive uh, movie characters, and they've done a wonderful, wonderful job. So you've got this guy, 
man, they look great together. And just for the information of people, uh, if you want very picky with this, with the height, uh, head to toe is just under seven inches. He's like, uh, I'd, I'd say six and a quarter or six and seven eighths inches tall. But from toe to the tip uh, of that kibble, it'll reach just under eight inches, about seven and a quarter inches tall. So let's transform uh, movie masterpiece barricade. Let's do the arms. You've already seen how I, I did this arm. So, uh, so we're gonna just go th breeze through it, okay? Uh, okay, do it like that. Do it like rotate till it stops. Make sure you rotate it till it stops so it's flush. Okay, like that. Okay, and then this one, lower it. Oh, sorry, raise it up and then snap it. Okay. And then I guess you can go ahead and collapse the door like this. Okay. That way it's not gonna be as annoying to transform. At least the the door part is is all more or less done. So go ahead and fold the fenders in. Okay. All right. Uh, and what's nice about it is if you're familiar with how the, 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 the movie barricade, the deluxe class transforms, you'll probably have an easy time doing it because it's very similar, very, very familiar. Okay, fold down these hip spikes. The instructions don't tell you to pop them out. So it's fine. Might as well do this as well. So do the same on the other side of the arm. Untap. Do it like that. Okay, fold out, fold in, go ahead and fold this, rotate all the way till it stops, fold the, that fist, uh, fold the, those fingers, and just, they don't tab in anywhere, I'm surprised, they just, they just stay there, okay, this one, just untab the wheel, raise it up, and then snap, okay, so rotate this, and snap it in, go ahead and do this, Okay, and do this. Now the torso. Go ahead and fold the head a little bit like that so you can untab that front part of the bonnet like that. Okay, go ahead and fold out the windows like that. Go ahead and fold down the arms, the shoulders actually. If you can see that, go ahead and fold them down like that. Same thing here, fold them down and rotate the arms as you're folding them down so that they don't get in the way. All right, then untab, there's a, there's like a tab right there. Tab the tabs into there, untab that. And okay, go ahead and fold down that whole head assembly. Unfold that chest and you wanna fold the you can fold down the chin if you want to, so it gives you clearance, but you don't have to. The instructions don't tell you to do that. So just fold it as close to the to the grill as possible. Go ahead and unfold this the grill, the guard, and snap it in. Straighten out these bumpers, and you got the bumper. All right. And then maybe we should do the legs. Okay, do the legs. Just straighten them out. Do that, okay, tab them in, fold the feet like that, make sure the legs are straight, go ahead and fold, unfold the rear bumper, sorry, fold that, do that, do that, rotate, rotate, they should join together, okay, and collapse right there, okay. Go ahead and extend that roof part. This is gonna keep snapping as you put the puzzles pieces together. Okay, go ahead and put the windows in position. And I'm gonna go ahead and fold that torso right there. And it should be perpendicular. I mean, it should be like one straight line. If it's like this, then you have to push in the head a little bit further, okay? And then go ahead and collapse that bonnet. Just tab it in for the time being. And you can tab the windows right there. This should, the bonnet should tab in right there. Okay, uh, right there, right there. 
And again, you can already see how similar it is to that deluxe class uh, barricade. Do this. So there. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea to bring up the windows. Okay, don't worry about that ratcheting noise. It should be fine. Yeah, <laughs> don't worry about breaking your figure. Okay. Um, that in. And he, it feels like a puzzle former at this point, but trust me, once you've got everything lined up, it'll be very, very rewarding. Uh, okay. Just, okay. All right. All right. I get it. Okay. 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 And this is how I how, how I do it. I pop that roof first, and I try to fit everything in first. Okay. So once. Once you've gotten everything lined up, like all the puzzle pieces have been lined up, okay, like that. Make sure the hands are all the way to the side. That's to give room for this section of that roof. You can collapse it like that. And there you go. Now the instructions do tell you in robot mode to swivel these. Um, like in robot mode, it should be like that. I, I feel it's unnecessary. Uh, it, it, they're probably trying to be as accurate as possible, but I'm okay with just the the light bar not being transformed. There is barricade in note mode. Very, very cool. I love it. Uh, just the amount of detail on it. Uh, let me show you close up on it. Police to punish and enslave. Emergency 911. License plate right there. Oklahoma State. Okay. And here is the masterpiece barricade with the masterpiece Bumblebee, movie masterpiece Bumblebee in alt mode. And as you can see, they scale very nicely with each other. The arch rivals and movie one and dark of the moon and you know about the same length, same scale, scale-wise, and yeah, almost very nice. They, they scale very, very nice, nicely with each other. So wonderfully done, Hasbro and Takara Tomy. And they look great together, displayed in alt mode, as well as in robot mode, I presume. Okay. And just so we know, and here is the deluxe class um, barricade. This is the interrogator barricade, uh, for your information. And I think they got that saline design down to a T. I mean, sure, there'll be differences here, the, the bumper. And uh -huh. not much tempos here. Punish and enslave, both of them have it, but not the 911 emergency response and no um, car number. Okay, and there's the car number right there. So, yeah, okay, very nice grill for the movie masterpiece barricade. Okay, now on top, there you go. Very, very cool. All right, so final thoughts on the figure. Absolutely amazing. It's going to get a 10 out of 10. I'm sorry if you guys think I just agree with everything that Hasbro or Takara Tomi dishes out, but this is one of their best masterpiece, one of their better masterpiece figures, and, and, and I absolutely love it. Uh, if you're really into the movie line and you want very definitive movie figures, the Masterpiece movie series line is, is something you want to pick up. And this is one figure that you absolutely must have if you're into this line. Uh, great detail. Transformation is a little bit involved, but I love the way it compresses and, and just gives you as little kibble as possible. I love the detail. I love the proportions on it. Articulation is not too bad. 
uh, paint apps. What else is to say about this figure? Well done, Hasbro and Takara Tomy. I absolutely love it. So best of luck to everybody hunting it down or if you're pre-ordering it or whatnot. Uh, if you're here, here in Manila, you might want to get it the same place I got it at Our Toys. Uh, and uh, it, you'll definitely, definitely enjoy this figure. Um, well done. So there you go, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this little video review. This has been the Transformers Masterpiece Movie Series MPM5 Barricade by Hasbro and Takara Tomy. Thanks for watching.